Hi guys, it's Imperius, and today I want to talk you through some changes to the Street League official firmware and some need to knows for Woodstopia coming up here soon. First up, the Street League official firmware is getting some ease of use changes. It is now a commit in the CAC version 4.4.2, so that means you can use the Cloud Builder to flash it, and you don't have to dig through the list of custom hexes anymore. A couple of changes to the Street League official firmware include RPM limiter tuning, different KVs should perform more similar now, you should also see a boost mode in the modes tab, rather than using the beeper mode, and boost engaged will show on the OSD for the entirety of the boost. These subtle changes to the official Street League spec firmware means that you need to update, and I'm going to walk you through how. For this video, I'm going to use a quad that was on the Street League hex that was available about two weeks ago. The first thing that I'm going to do to this quad, because I had Street League firmware on it, is I'm going to save a diff. To save a diff, we're going to go to the CLI, type the command diff diff, and hit save to file. Save this somewhere you can access it easy, you're going to need it. Now comes the fun part. Make sure that enable expert mode is turned on. You'll want to go to the development drop down, auto detect your flight controller, and we're going to look for CAC 4.4.2 special release. Because you saved a diff, we're also going to turn on full chip erase. And now we're going to type into the commit sl locked, L O C K E D. And then we'll load the firmware. The cloud builder will do its thing. Cloud builder is being really slow today. Now that the cloud builder has built us a hex, we'll flash our firmware. We already created a backup so we could ignore this message and the Street League firmware is flashed. When we go to connect for the first time, we'll apply the custom defaults. And from here, if you're building a new quad, you can do your setup, or we can go to CLI, load from file, and grab that diff that we grabbed from earlier. Execute and type save, and that's it. Your quad should be set up exactly the way that it was before. You'll see my rates are here. My modes are here, and you'll see the new boost mode tab that will set up, bi-directional D-shot enabled, my OSD elements as they were, good to go. And that's it. It's not a change of firmware version, so the diff shouldn't have any conflicts, but there are some changes to the firmware itself so we do have to make sure that we update before the upcoming races, in this case, Woodstopia. Now that you've flashed the new firmware to your drone, new or old, head on over to the streetleague.io website. And if you haven't already, make sure to create a profile, upload an image there, collect your badges, and any previous street cred you may have won, and then head over to the races tab, and make sure that you sign up for the upcoming races this year. In this case, Woodstopia. That's all for me today. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you at Woodstopia. Peace.